I started working out at 14 years old. Uh, I was just skinny and I was, you know, I felt inadequate and I was in junior high school and I wanted to gain weight and I didn't know that you could gain muscle to gain weight. I thought that you could only eat a lot of food and gain a lot of weight, which was obviously would have been fat, but I had a very fast metabolism and so that wasn't going to work either. So I just uh, found my way to Bill Pearl's gym, which was the local gym, and uh, made a deal there where I started scrubbing floors in exchange for membership. You know, um, I was, uh, my mother raised me. Uh, I was, my father left when I was five. And, uh, and so I didn't really know what I wanted to do career-wise. And uh, I was in love with bodybuilding. And I had Bill Pearl as my example of what you can do in business. Uh, and so I thought, you know, I'm just gonna open up a gym. I'm standing in front of the building that uh, used to be Brignoli Fitness, my gym, uh, in Pasadena. And, uh, and I'm, I'm standing across the street in the parking structure probably on the second floor, maybe third floor, so I can kind of see the roof and I can, I'm can. i looking down at it. And um, the front looks pretty much the same as it did. It's got the same structure. The windows look a little different, but it looks kind of the same. I opened it when I was 24 years old. Uh, I was dating a girl whose father was an entrepreneur and so he kind of took me by the hand and and, and taught me how to do a business plan. and. Um, and, uh, and I was up and running at the age of 24. Um, and I ran the gym for a total of 11 years at this location for eight years. And then at, at another location for another three, a bigger location, we were able to expand it. But, um, you know, it was a significant time in my life. Um, it was significant for a lot of reasons. I won Mr. America and Mr. Universe training here at my gym. Um, and. And I, I, it was the beginning of the fitness industry boom. So personal training didn't even exist when I opened this in 1984. Um, and it started to emerge as, an, as a business, as an industry, right around 1986, 87-ish. But um, the, mem the memories are fond. Uh, I'm glad I've moved past that because I don't think gym ownership is where I'd like to be today but I think it was a critically important time in my life for establishing my knowledge of the industry and my identity within the industry. You know, I, I'm optimistic and, and I'd like to believe that people are sensible and that people will grasp logic, that they'll understand the sensibility of, of what I'm saying in terms of biomechanics and, and the 16 factors that determine exercise efficiency. And if that is the case, if people are as sensible as I hope they will be, then in the future people will be adopting these better training methods and they will be pushing aside the old, injurious, uh, overly excessive energy requiring uh, exercises, and there will be far fewer injuries in the future than there have been in the past. Unfortunately, I don't know that I can have that confidence. I and mean, people tend to be uh, obstinate sometimes in terms of logic, and so sometimes they don't embrace it. I can't care, you know, I, 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 I can't be invested in what people end up doing. Um, I, I've, I've been, I've had my heart broken too many times, disappointed too many times, um, but it's not my job to ensure that everybody does the right thing. What I care about is getting it out there, getting the valuable, truthful, scientific information out there, and what people do with it is up to them.